we will learn two hedging strategies. These strategies are used to protect your investments from any adverse price movements. The first strategy is the protective put. In this, the investor purchases a put to protect from the downside movement in stock investments. For example, Consider a mutual fund manager holding 800 shares of Oro Pharma, which is trading at 700 rupees. The fund manager is bullish on the long-term story of the company due to new product launches expected in the US market. At the same time, he is concerned about the short-term uncertainties, such as regulatory observations, and rupee depreciation, which might take the stock price down. To capitalize on the rise in stock price, the mutual fund manager continues to hold the Oro Pharma stock, and to hedge against the short-term uncertainties, he buys at the money, 700 strike put on Oro Pharma for 20 rupees. Now, let us look at the scenario in which Oro Pharma receives a new drug approval from US FDA, and stock price rises up to 750 rupees. The fund manager makes an unrealized profit of 50 rupees on each share, and the 700 strike put is out of the money, and expires worthless. Next, let us say, Oro Pharma receives a regulatory observation, and the stock price falls to 600 rupees. The fund manager has an unrealized loss of 100 rupees on each share, and the 700 strike put is in the money by 100 points and after deducting the premium paid, the profit on put is 80 rupees. Thus, he will lose a maximum of 20 rupees, which is the premium paid to buy the 700 strike put, and can have unlimited upside as long as stock price continues to rise. In the scenarios discussed earlier, the amount of protection provided by put depends on the strike price, and time of protection is up to the expiration date. A combination of the payoffs, of the long stock, by price 700 rupees, and the long put, with strike price 700, for a premium of 20 rupees, is the payoff of a protective put, in blue. A second strategy is covered call. The strategy involves. First, holding a long position in an underlying asset. Second, selling a call against, that underlying asset. The long position in the underlying instrument is said to provide the cover, as the shares can be delivered to the buyer of the call, if the buyer decides to exercise. While using this strategy, the investor's view of the asset is neutral. Hence, the expectation is to earn the call premium by selling the call and hoping that the stock prices wouldn't go down. For example, an investor buys stock of Wipro for 300 rupees, and sells a 300 strike call for 10 rupees. Now, if the price of the Wipro rises up to 400 rupees then the investor makes 100 rupees from the stock, and the 300 strike call is 100 points in the money, and after deducting the premium collected, the loss from the 300 strike call is 90 rupees. The net profit from the strategy is 10 rupees. The profit from the strategy will be same when Wipro rises to any price above 300 rupees. Conversely, if the price of Wipro falls to 200 rupees, then the investor loses 100 rupees from the stock, and the 300 strike call is out of the money, and expires worthless. The net loss from the strategy after deducting the premium collected is 90 rupees. A combination of the payoffs of the long stock, by price 300 rupees, and the short call, with strike price 300, and premium of 10 rupees, is the payoff of a covered call, in blue. From the graph, we learned that the maximum profit is limited but the maximum loss is substantial, if the stock price reduces a lot. To learn options trading and various strategies in detail, enroll for our free course. Options Trading Strategies in Python Basic, on Quantra. The link to the course is in the description below.